Drones have taken over our headlines lately, especially with those mystery machines flying around eastern Colorado. Well, the state still doesn't know where they're coming from or who's flying them. And with drones becoming more and more popular, we've covered lots of angles and we've heard lots of opinions. And that's why Denver 7's Eric Lufer is going 360. Here's a big number, about one and a half million drones have been registered with the FAA ever since that became a requirement back in 2015. Quadcopters come in all shapes and sizes. They're used for recreation, of course, and in the future they might even be a delivery service, and they're used for investigations. Did you guys know firefighters use drones? Schools are starting to teach the craft as a potential future job opportunity. But as drones evolve, so does the controversy that comes with them. So we decided it was time to fly high with this 360. You'll hear from a Colorado native downright weirded out by drone activity, the lawyer who gets to the bottom of what drones can and can't do these days, an inventor who thinks he has the answer to dodging drones in the sky, and finally, you'll hear from a hobbyist who worries the drone hobby is dying a slow death. Yeah, I saw him one night, and I have no idea where they came from. We'll start with Randy McKnight, who's seen drones fly over her backyard. We don't know who's flying these drones. We don't know what's on the drones. I find it a really scary um, trend. A trend that shows no sign of slowing, at least for now. Technology will evolve and they will be able to fly higher and who knows what they'll be able to do. Obviously drone, drone laws are being created and evolving every day as we speak. Attorney Don Eby says concerns over what's flying over your house is warranted, especially when it comes to privacy. But right now, there isn't much a person on the ground can do. Does a person actually have a right to prevent that drone from filming them or from entering the airspace over their property? And the answer to that is almost always no, um, because we don't own the airspace. Speaking of airspace, we just recently covered a story on a drone that almost crashed into a Flight for Life helicopter. A close call that could have been much worse. That brings us to Rick Zelenka, a private pilot who's been awarded two patents of his own for drone detecting radar that you put on small planes. The FAA has documented over 100 drone incidents per month. That's why Zelenka is so passionate about his invention. Most are not collisions but um, several are, where they've actually hit an aircraft and the aircraft's had property damage, had to land quickly, no one's lost their life, but unfortunately this problem's gonna get worse. A few months back, DJI, the world leader in manufacturing civilian drones, announced it was developing technology to let you use your smartphone to identify a drone flying overhead. Right now, the FAA is working on a drone identification system that would allow law enforcement and the government to track every drone in the sky. All drones would have to comply within three years. So yeah, it is complicated. It's certainly an area of law that's evolving. Maybe there'll be more restrictions and more things put in place in the future. All of this active change has Hobbytown USA drone specialist Hector Parra worried about the hobby he loves so much. Wanting to put so many regulations on a hobbyist takes the joy and the passion out of entering the hobby. And it's hard to predict what will happen next. My fears in the future with drones is that the negative stigma with recreational or hobby pilots or hobby drones continues down the road that it's going now. I'm Eric Lufer, Denver 7. And now we want to hear from you. What do you think about all this new activity with drones? Should more regulations be put into place on them? You can send an email to 360 at thedenverchannel.com to share your opinion.